Greetings directors, Fire here and in this video I'm gonna try to explain how you can solve the props puzzle in central research. Now after you are able to open level 5 doors you will be able to come here and unlock this one. It's the place where you initially uh, find Marcel. This was her staging operations room. You can see me on the map here lack and probability so you open this door and you're faced with this room that looks kind of peculiar because there are a ton of interaction points but uh, not any loot you just have some interaction points and that seems to be all there is initially but it's not it's actually a riddle and you can get rewards by solving it it's pretty difficult to replicate exactly what you have to do, but I'm going to explain the prime principle behind it. Here on this monitor you see a number. It is the number you roll by using this roulette. For this roulette everything has been bet on the number 7 white. So what you actually want to do is run a 7 here and this will solve the riddle for you. Now the way to do that is to interact with various pieces of uh, equipment, let's say the props, in this room and in the next room, and by activating or deactivating certain of those, you will be able to finally reach this number. So there are probably lots of different combinations you can use, but as long as you can get a seven here, it will be fine. So for me, the way it works is as follows. I was looking at this board here, and I can see that it's unknown whether the toy elephant and the toy cat are active or inactive, but you want the little uh, clover, you want the lights on, and you want the fish at closer than two feet. We also don't know if the magnet has to be on or off. So what I did is I went into the next room and I grabbed the fish. I'm gonna show you where you can find it. Please bear with me, this riddle is kind of strange, so we'll have to get used to it and solve it. The fish can be found here, it's on a pedestal. So you grab the fish, you come in here by using a telekinesis to move it around, like this. You initially smash it on something that will break its pedestal, and then you want to grab it and have it closer than two feet from the roulette. Believe it or not, that's what you have to do. So we have the fish here and this is one of the things we surely want to have, right? The second thing is the little clover. You have this little plant pedestal here, but initially it's missing the clover. The clover can be acquired from the initial room by grabbing it from here. You grab the clover and you bring it back into the room with the little pedestal and you plant the plant here. So now we also have the clover. We need all the lights to be on. So all these lamps, like one here, one here, one here, and one here, they all have to be turned on. This moves us closer to the actual solution, but we're not there yet. There are the variables of the elephant, the cat, and the magnet. So we go into the next room, and the way it worked for me was as follows. I had the magnet looking up, and here you will see a magnet again, a replica. You have to activate those so they're moving. We come to the toy elephant. I had the toy elephant also activated, the little spheres here. And I also had the toy cat activated, like moving its arm up and down. So when all those criteria were met, it means that both the toys actually have to be active and the magnet must be looking up and its spheres colliding uh, at the replica on the next desk. You spin the roulette, you will score a 7, and you actually unlock it. As you can see, it re-rolled a 7, it means it would have unlocked 
anyways so that's pretty much the riddle very strange one very interesting one I just solved it by uh, eliminating specific variables and that's how I managed to get the goodies so I hope this helps you sub like and share if you did I'm running through the game completing everything and finding all the secrets that I can I will be posting all my findings on this channel until next time be well stay frosty and always cypher perfection cheers